This is the end of language. Cynthia ends up goodbye lunch. We need to continue on with our language. All right, so we are on remember be still on page 85, and this will be good practice also for the quiz. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go around the room. We're going to read the whole sentence together as class, but we'll start with Chase. And the first person will tell me where to divide it, and the second person will tell me what is the verb that you need to underline two times, two times neatly. All right, so let's read the first sentence. In Puerto Rico, scientists look through the largest telescopes in the world. All right, so where would you divide it? After scientists. After scientists, very good. Puerto Rico didn't do anything. Yes, Puerto Rico is a noun, but Puerto Rico is not doing anything. It's the scientists who are doing something. So divide it after scientists. So looking at the predicate part of the sentence, what is the verb, Riley? Look. Very good. Looking, the verb is look, isn't it? So underline look twice. Don't forget you're underlining the verb twice. All right, let's read the next sentence. Christopher Columbus discovered the island of Puerto Rico in 1493. So we're going to divide it. Grant. Which one? Christopher. Yes, after Christopher Columbus divided. And Dane, what would be the verb? Discovered. Discovered. Yep, that's what he did. He discovered. So divided after Columbus, underline discovered two times. Let's read the next sentence. People in Puerto Rico speak English and Spanish. Yes, you do need to put it after people in Puerto Rico. After Puerto Rico, even though Puerto Rico is not doing anything, they are telling you what people. What people are they talking about? They're talking about the people in Puerto Rico. So people is still the subject, but Puerto Rico is where you're going to divide it. So what's the verb there, Hunter? Speak. Speak. That's the action. Speak. Very good. So underline speak twice. All right, let's read the next one. Many Puerto Ricans enjoy basketball, volleyball, and boxing. Where are we going to divide it, Allison? After Puerto Ricans. Puerto Ricans. Puerto Ricans. All right. Those are people from Puerto Rico, right? And where? What would be the verb after you divide it after Puerto Ricans? What would be the verb? Joey? Enjoy. Enjoy, very good. That's what they're doing. Enjoy. The action is enjoy. Underline it twice. Let's read the next one. Much of the food in Puerto Rico tastes spicy. Where are we going to divide it? It's your turn, Casey. No, it's not for me, but you. After. Puerto Rico. Very good. After Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico is not doing anything. Actually, the subject in this one is sort of weird because it would be much. Much would be the subject. Much of the food in Puerto Rico. So all of that is the subject part of the sentence. And what would be the verb, Elise? Taste. taste. Very good. So underline taste two times. All right, the last one. I don't know for sure how to pronounce that word. We're going to say coqui. Okay? So we're just going to call it the coqui. All right? The coqui, a small tree frog, lives in Puerto Rico. Brittany, where are we going to divide it? After tree frog. After tree frog. The coqui, a small tree frog, divide it. And everybody, what would the verb be? Lives. 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 It is lives. Frog lives. You wouldn't say frog lives, would you? All right. I said so, the wrong thing. Yeah, but you knew what word. Yeah. All right, now we're going to just a little bit of review. This is not going to be on the quiz, but this is a review from a long ago. We're going to put in, um, use proofreader marks to put in the correct punctuation, right? And this is a direct quotation, so you know what we're going to need. So let's read what it says first. And Bonnie, Bonnie said, said, would you would like a piece of peach pie? pie? All right, Leanna. Uh, can you say question, question mark after the comma? Yes. Where it says, Aunt Bonnie said, comma, after that comma, you have the word said, and then 
you have a comma, then you would put insert and quotation marks, and they should be high. Remember, they're small, they're curved, they curve this way, and they're high. And then the first word she said is the word wood. So I'm going to go and put the word wood. Insert quotation marks. Yeah. After, After the question mark. You insert quotation marks. Now remember the quotation marks to go this way this time. The beginning they curve this way, the end they curve that way, and they should be high, like the top of your question mark. Don't put them low, because then they end up looking like a comma or something. Alright, so that's review. Now, after you finish doing that, turn the tape or over. And on the next page they have a story going to get maybe a little funny, okay, we're going to come up with words, we're going to come up with options, but we're all going to come up with the same word that we're going to write down at the end. Alright, so I'm going to read it through one time and just say blanks, okay, okay? and then we'll go back and fill okay. in the blanks. That way you can get an idea of when it's time to be funny and when it's time to be serious, because okay. sometimes we're going to be funny and sometimes we're going to be serious, okay? okay? So listen. It says, last Saturday morning, Dad blank a big fish. Mom said she would blank the fish. My big brother would not even blank the fish. Did you blank that the fish? Would you believe that I offered to blank the fish? Our cat walked by and blanked the fish. By Saturday night, we had all blanked the fish. Okay. You guys get the idea? Uh -huh. So sometimes we'll be serious and come up with a word that makes sense. So what would beginning of the last Saturday morning dad blank a big fish? What would be the best word there? Eight. Um, that is something you could put there, but caught? to go with the story, we want to go with what? Caught. Yes, let's go with caught first. We want to go with caught first because um, we're going to do what you just said later in the story. Okay. Okay. All right. So the first thing you're going to put is caught. Last Saturday, my dad caught a big fish. And if you don't know how to spell caught, it is a A U G H T word. Caught. Not a C O T word. That's the little bed you sleep on. All right. So C A U G H T. Caught. All right. Now. Some of your answers may not be wrong. We may just may not use them for the story. All right. Mom said she would blank the fish. All right. So what would mom do? Scale. Okay. That's a good thing. She would might scale the fish. Fry. Fry the fish. All right. Or what else can you do a fish besides fry it? Cut. Okay. Cut the fish. Cook it. Okay. Just cook it. Cook the fish. Or what's another way besides fry it? You might. Do what? How would you cook it? Grill. Grill the fish, okay. Mom said she needs to grill the fish. Alright, so um, does anybody know another thing you might do with a fish? Air fry it. Okay, air fry the fish. What about bake the fish? Oh. Alright, how many of you want to grill it to be fun? Alright, mm -hmm. so let's grill the fish. Alright, so mom said she would grill the fish. So there's our verb, grill. We're going to make it be fun. She, that would make it be tasty too. Grilling a fish gives it a different taste than baking it or frying it. It's, and it would be healthy too. Right. My big brother would not even blank the fish. I'm in a Touch. We're going to go with touch here. That's a good one. Did you blank the fish? Throw. Okay, you could say that. I'm not 
sure we want to here, but um, what else, Grant? Does this look like the Imagine? Say it again. Is this supposed to be like Imagine? No, not really. I mean, sort of, because we're all doing verbs, but we are all going to come up with the same answer. Everybody should have the same response because we're just doing the same thing, but there's different words you could put in. But yeah, it's sort of. I think we're all just doing verbs. In Mad Libs, they do other things, but Okay, um, yes, Joey, give me one. Um, did you grill the fish? Okay, but we already used grill, so we're not going to use grill here, but it would work there. Did you? He is a fish. Okay, <laughs> we're not going to put that one either. But it, does, it does make sense, but um, if you're just talking about dad caught the fish and mom's going to grill the fish, my brother wouldn't touch the fish. Um, scale the fish. Okay, that one. That one would work. Did you scale the fish? That would work. Um, Grant, do you actually have an a answer this time? Cut. Okay, did you cut the fish? Try. Did you try the fish? Okay, that one works, except for the fact that um, we're not to that part yet, were you? Because it is a story. If you remember, it was a story. Did you kill the fish? Okay. <laughs> Dane? Did you eat? Fish. Okay, but we're going to get to that. We're going to eat it later, okay? You keep wanting to eat it. We're going to have a place where we're going to eat it later. Did you, did you freeze the fish? Okay, some of you are trying to get too silly now. All right, anybody else have another option? Okay, we're going to just go with scale then. That's the best one out of all that came up. I like scale. Did you scale the fish? Because some fish you do have to scale. Remember we learned that fish have scales. Not all fish have scales though. Like a catfish does not have scales, it has a skin. You have to peel the skin off though. And there are I think some other fish that just have a skin instead of scales and you usually um, might want to get rid of that skin. All right, so did you scale the fish? That would be something you'd have to do before you cook it, maybe. I definitely, actually, definitely you have to scale the fish before you cook it. All right. Would you believe that I offered to blank the fish? Now, this is where we can get a little funny. Smell. Okay, smell the fish. Yes? Fish? Mm -hmm. Would you believe that I offered, I offered to, to eat the fish? Okay, you want to eat it every time. I know. Allison? Blank the fish. Okay. Feed the fish. Okay. Freeze the fish. Okay. Would you believe means, would you believe that means you'd offer to do something that people wouldn't think of. What's something that people wouldn't think of? That you could do, but it would be sort of silly. Kick the fish. Okay. <laughs> what would you buy into the fish, and why would you offer to do that? Grant? <laughs> what? Put jam on the fish. Okay, you can't do that because you need one verb, huh? Jam? That one makes sense, does it? Yes, the fish. There we go. That's what I'm going to do. 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 That I offer to kiss the fish. Okay, you will stop talking out. Thank you. Yes, ma'am? Okay, I told you this story could get a little silly, and we did get a little silly there. Okay, no, we're not doing anymore. We already put the word. That's the word we're using. All right, would you believe that I offered to kiss the fish? Our cat walked by and blank the fish. Now, think about it. You keep wanting to eat the fish every time, okay? Are you going to say eat again? All right, we're not going to eat it yet. And you need to think of something the cat does that would not keep you from wanting to eat it. All right, so we can't do soup something. Grayson? Our cat walked nibbled by. The fish. Nibbled the fish. All right. <laughs> Um, some of you that will probably wouldn't want to keep you from wanting to eat it, but that's that would work. But we're not going to put that one. Um, our cat walked by and scratched the fish. Okay, I'm not sure I would want to eat it if my cat scratched it. But I don't have a cat. Elise. Uh, my cat would. Okay, you're supposed to raise your hand if you have one in your mind already. Raise your hand when you have one in your mind already, Joey. Touch. 
took the fish. Okay, took the fish. Again, I wouldn't want to eat if my cat took the fish. Licked the fish. Licked the fish. <laughs> Say it again. Eyed the fish. Eyed the fish. Oh, that's a good one. All right. Stole. Okay, the fish. stole the fish. That would work too, but that's not what we're gonna put. going to say two words. It needs to be one word. Smell the fish. Okay. Smell the fish. What's another way to say smell? Yeah, sniff. Sniffed. Alright. Sniffed the fish. That's the one thing. If the cat did that, I would still be willing to eat it. But if the cat licked the fish, I'm not sure I would want to <laughs> eat it. Although I will tell on my daughter-in-law. She made a cream brulee cheesecake, oh. and her cat walked on it, <laughs> and they just scooped out the paw prints, and they still ate it. <laughs> there were paw prints across the cheesecake. <laughs> All right, so are you ready? Now, you can't say eat, though. Because this has to do with tense a little bit, but it's not tense that we actually learn. But think about it. Put your hands down. Just listen. By Saturday night, we had all blanked the fish. Do you know what word it is? We had all. Oh, gosh. It is the word you're wanting to use, but you have to use a different form. You can't say eight. Okay, it's not eight. Finished. Okay, finished would work. But he's been wanting to use this word so badly, I'm gonna let him, but you can't say eight. You have to say, we had hope eaten. Eaten. Uh, oh, you have to use the word eaten. Much. We had eaten, because it had already happened. We had all eaten. So eaten is the word eat with an E-N added to it. Eaten. Okay, eaten the fish. Now the fun part is you get to draw a picture to go with the story. Now you can do it one of two ways. You can just draw one simple picture of the funniest part of the story, or you can divide this up into sections and draw pictures for each part of the story, like showing dad pitch the fish and mom grilling the fish, etc. All right? It might be a little hard to do a picture for the question, but you could draw a picture of somebody scaling a fish. All right? So you're going to draw either one big picture or lots of little pictures, dividing it up into sections.